told that the sum of two numbers is 7. So a plus b is equal to 7, and the difference between them is 2. So I'm going to make uh, a the larger one, and a minus b is going to equal 2. What is the value of a times b? Now, when I did this question, I just thought, how can I get this without solving it? I can't really see a way, so I just solved it. And I'm going to show you how you can do that now. There is a way you can do it without solving it, which I'll show you afterwards. It's quite neat, but um, I'd be surprised if many people thought to do this in the real competition. Because simultaneous equations solving them just seems to be um, quite a quick way of doing it. So for A, I'm going to get 9 over 2. And then for B, it's going to be 7 minus 9 over 2, or 14 over 2 minus 9 over 2, which is going to be 5 over 2. So if I'm asked for what a, b is, I can just times them. I'm going to get 9 over 2 times 5 over 2, 45 over 4, which is going to be 11, remainder 1, so 11 and a quarter, or 11.25. Oh, sorry, 11 and a quarter in the final answer. Now, how could you do it without finding a, okay, just out of interest? Well, what you can do is actually square a plus b, and then minus a minus b squared. Because what you get here is you actually get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared minus a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And expanding the bracket will mean that these cancel and these cancel and actually we're left with 4ab. So a plus b squared is 49. And if we minus a minus b squared, it's going to be 4. So we get that 4ab is equal to, wait, what is it? Uh, 45. Which means that ab is equal to 45 over 4. Well, that's pretty cool. We've not actually managed to, you know, I think it's pretty cool. We've not actually worked out a and b, but we've managed to get the, you know, what happens when they multiply together. Um, so worth seeing this method as well, even though I think in the real thing, this is more practical.